So you're thinking about moving to Vienna, Virginia. Well, in today's video, I'm gonna give you guys a driving tour of Vienna, show you the town of Vienna, where you're gonna have your shopping hubs, your things to do, your, your dining, your fast food restaurants. And then we're gonna head over to a couple different neighborhoods and a couple different listings at different price points to not only get to see what you can expect to find in Vienna in terms of things to do, but also what real estate you can find here and if it's gonna fit your budget. And this video is a little bit of a different one. It is gonna be a driving tour rather than a vlog tour like I usually try to do. I'm doing this because I actually caught the, the virus that shall not be named, so I'm still trying to recover from that, but still give you guys a video on Vienna and show you around the area. But let me know down in the comment section whether you prefer the driving style videos like this one, or if you prefer the vlog style tour videos, and let's get into the video. If this is your first time on the channel and you wanna learn everything there is to know about living in Northern Virginia and the surrounding areas, just like Vienna, subscribe below and tap that bell so you can be the first to learn about the current market here in Nova. My name is Tim, I'm a local realtor here, and the team and I, we get calls, texts, and emails from people just like you looking to make their move in or out of Nova, and we absolutely love it. So whether you're moving in a day, a year, or any time in between, feel free to give us a call, shoot us a text, send us an email, schedule a Zoom call any day of the week, any time of day, we'd be happy to help you make that smooth move here to Nova. But for this video in specific, we're looking at Vienna, as I mentioned, and before we head over to the first listing in the first neighborhood, I wanted to show you where you have your main shopping hub, and that's gonna be in the town of Vienna. Granted, Vienna is quite large, so depending on where you live, maybe the town of Vienna is a little bit too far away from you, but generally you have a lot of different shopping centers that are a little bit more convenient, but this is the main heart and the main shopping center of Vienna residents. This is where you're gonna have you know, your fast food restaurants, your fine dining, your boutiques, some historical sites here, your grocery stores, anything and everything you're ever gonna need, you could pretty much find it in this one strip in the town of Vienna. Now, I'm not gonna go into the nitty gritty of everything you can find here simply because I've done a map tour review of Vienna where I go into more depth as to the sort of things you can find in the area. So if you're interested in that, I definitely recommend going to check that out after this video. I'll leave a link to that as well, but this should hopefully give you a visual representation as to the sheer amount of things that you can find inside of Vienna. Now, Vienna itself has a population of around 16,500 people, so you're gonna get a sparse suburban feel, especially when much of the real estate is going to be single family homes, meaning that you're not gonna find a lot of townhomes and condos available, although there are some available and more and more are starting to pop up. However, the majority of real estate is going to be single family homes, and with that, the median home sale price is amongst one of the most expensive at 1.4 million right now. A lot of that is because you don't have the townhomes and the condos bringing down that median home sale price, but also because Vienna has become a developer's paradise, meaning that much of the real estate from the 50s, the 60s, and the 70s is being torn down right now as we speak, and a ton of these brand new contemporary mansions are being built on top of these lots, which we will take a look at all throughout the video. But with that being said, let's head over to the first listing and look at what's the most affordable thing you can find in Vienna right now. All right, so here we are in the first neighborhood, and as you can probably already tell, they're all gonna be townhomes. And I did this because if you're looking for affordability and you value living in Vienna, typically looking into townhomes and condos is gonna be your best bet. Now we're gonna pull up on the listing in just a minute, but the thing that I really liked most about this neighborhood is that it's so conveniently located to Tyson's and the town of Vienna. You're like a mile away from the town of Vienna and Tyson, so you can walk there, you can run there, and you're half a mile from Kilmer Middle School, so your kids can walk to school, and the school system in Vienna is amongst one of the best in uh, Fairfax County and Northern Virginia as well. So in terms of location, it doesn't get much more convenient than this area. And here we are pulling up on the first listing, and I think Personally, it's a cute townhome. It is listed at 565, offering you three beds, four baths, 1,220 square feet of space, putting the price per square foot at $463, which is a bit pricey in terms of bang for your buck, but if you're in this price range and you wanna be in Vienna, this is pretty much what you're gonna to have to settle for. This can be an ideal purchase for first time home buyers, a professional, a small family, an investor, someone who values convenience and living in Vienna. Now, as we head over to the next neighborhood and the next listing, I wanted to show you exactly what I meant in terms of being a developer's paradise. As you can see, a lot of these huge homes were fairly recently built. These are multi-million dollar homes, and that's just become the trend in Vienna. A lot of business owners, uh, 
politicians, you know, government workers like to live in the town of Vienna specifically. And as you can see, there are some homes from the 50s and the 60s still up and available, but many of them are probably going to meet the same fate as every other one. It's probably gonna get torn down and a huge mansion is probably gonna be built on top of that. So if that's something that you're looking for, newer real estate, something bigger, and in a very convenient location, then you've got a ton of options in the area. And here we're in the neighborhood of the next listing and we're gonna pull up to it in just a minute and I'll see you guys there. And this house is the embodiment of exactly what I was talking about. Just a home that would probably be torn down or fully renovated from the inside. Uh, it's listed at $699.9 with four beds, three baths, 1,354 square feet, putting the price per square foot at $517. This home was also built in the 60s. And as you can see with the property right next to it, that home was just like the one that's listed right now probably got torn down a couple years ago and this huge mansion was built on top of it. So we'll see if a developer end up, ends up buying this one and does the same thing, or if a family ends up, you know, putting an addition on there, building a custom home or just renovating the inside. But with that being said, let's take a look at the rest of this neighborhood and head over to the next listing. Now here we are in the next neighborhood and I chose this one because of the price point obviously it's a one step above what we just saw but also because you're right next to a golf course and some of these properties actually back into the golf course which is something I know a lot of people do value so if you're looking for that you know this neighborhood is going to provide that for you keeping an eye on this neighborhood is a must if that's something that you want granted the listing we're going to take a look at is right across the street so it's not going to have the golf course right behind you but just to give you an idea keep an eye on this neighborhood if that's something that you want but this listing is also going to be one of those homes that I've been talking about this whole video great opportunity to renovate or tear down and build something new as you can see by the barricaded windows and and no pictures online. This is a home that's probably gonna need a lot of work. This one's listed for $850,000 and 3,200 square feet to its name, putting the price per square foot at $265, making it one of the more affordable listings in terms of price per square foot on the market right now. So this is another good option for you if that's what you're looking for. But let's head over to the last and final listing and take a look at a brand new custom build on the market right now. And here we are at the last and final neighborhood and listing. And this is actually the same neighborhood we looked at earlier with the home that was listed at 699.9. So this should just give you an idea as to the sort of builds and opportunities that can pop up in these neighborhoods. This home was built this year. It's listed at $2,099,000 with five beds, six baths, 5,099 square feet, putting the price per square foot at $412. This was built by a custom home builds company, very highly sought after build. So if this is within your price range, there's a ton of different options all throughout Vienna. And even if you don't get this home in particular, there's a lot of great homes just like this one on the market right now and soon to be on the market in the next year or so. So if you wanna get your foot in the door, definitely give us a call, shoot us a text, send us an email, schedule a Zoom call. We know some of these builders. We could definitely get you in the door and get you one of these homes. But with that being said, let's look at the rest of this neighborhood. And I hope you got some value out of this video. If you did, please leave a like down below. If you wanna stay up to date with the market in Northern Virginia, subscribe. And if you're thinking about moving to Vienna or anywhere around Nova, give us a call, shoot us a text, send us an email, schedule a Zoom call any day of the week, any time of day. We'd be happy to help you make that smooth move here. And until next time, well, we hope to show you around town or we'll see you on the next video.